Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to swap banana ranches. So you want to have two people towards B and the first guy is going to just throw an aid that's going to land in the middle of banana around here so it catches the teeth on a good timing when they're running up and is going to hit the first one or two for around 50 damage, 40 to 50 damage. How you throw that nade is when you're going around the corner here you just throw it uh, under the flower pot like this just with left click and it's going to land pretty good right here and it's exactly where the teeth would be running if they're rushing. After you throw that nade you want to throw a mode of close something like this doesn't have to be precise again just to the left of this green thing and it's going to land good enough you can also aim a bit lower so it lands a bit more towards the middle but that's not going to make a big difference and after getting all that motive you want to go in sandbags and play anti-flash like this the second guy can do a few things one thing is he can throw a nade from here like this that will land similar to the first nade so you do damage to more people or you could even get a kill with the nades another thing he can do is just throw a motive towards the middle of banana he can throw it in the same way and that's going to do one or two things it's going to either stop the teeth that are behind so they're going to wait out the molly let's say two people are going to wait for the molly or at least one or they could just run through the motive and they will take like 50 damage or something like that and after both things after the nade or the molly you can choose which one you want to throw after that you want to throw a flash you can either throw it like this if you want to line up or if you don't want anything precise you can just throw whatever you're throwing and just jump through it like this or something and for both flashes you have to kind of get a feeling for the timing it should be kind of one second after you're ready to throw the flash so if you're throwing this and you want to throw the flash you just wait one second and then you throw the flash that should be a good timing but if you want a more precise thing you can just play a few times and you're going to get a feeling for the perfect timing to throw it and after you throw a flash doesn't matter if it's just something like this or if you throw it from there whatever you throw if the teeth went through the mollies and through the nades so they could extinguish the molly as well but if they didn't extinguish the molly they would be like 10 HP or something because you hit them with the nade and then you hit them with the molly or even if you double nade it you could they could die in the molly as well or something like this but if they somehow make it through they will get full blind from either of the flashes if you hit the good timing and if you throw it maybe a little bit higher so the half wall doesn't block it like you just did so if you throw it like this or something when they're running in they're going to be full blind because they're not going to be focused on the flash they're going to just be focused on seeing if there's anyone here and they're going to just miss the flash they're not going to see it so after the flash pops, what you want to do is this guy who was playing anti flash even if the terror is throwing some kind of flashes he's not going to be blind because he's standing like this and nothing can blind you here so right after your flash pops he can just stand up and turn around like this and he can try to fight anyone who is already close and this guy is just going to either fight on contact or he can just pick by himself kind of and either swing it which is going to be not really the best thing you can do or he can just try to clear it out slowly which is going to be really good because in that way if there is anyone who is already close this guy is going to be shooting them and they're going to focus on him and if you hear that while you're clearing slowly you're going to see that there is nobody there or if there is someone you kill him and then you just swing to the other people who are going to be focused on your sandbags guy and in this way you're going to kill people who are most likely low HP and even if they're not low HP somehow they're going to be full blind and you're going to be crossfiring them they can contact from one position then the other guy swings and you're going to get at least 4 kills in this way so if this video helped you if you learned something new make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any upcoming content thank you for watching